How's it going, everyone? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And today, guys, we need to have some information regarding the May Xbox One system update, which just came live today, guys. So I thought you know, might as well bring you guys some information. So it's a pretty good update. I did an update for the April system update. And there were some pretty good updates as well. So there'll be a link, guys, down below if you missed out April's. However, in May's update, there are three big things for you guys to know. So voice messages have now been enabled, which is pretty insane. It was one of the top hit features on the feedback page for the Xbox One. And there'll be also a link, guys, down below if you want to go to the feedback page where you can submit any feedback about the Xbox One on which you would like to, you know, be improved, addition, you know, whatever. And people get to vote. So what I might actually do is I might actually do a video talking about future updates. And we could do, like, one video a week or two videos or once a month or whatever where I talk to you guys about the community updates. So let me know what you guys think. Because to be honest, there's come quite some interesting ones there. So let me know what you guys think. So uh, voice messages have now been enabled. And you can now record via your headset or via Connect, which is a pretty awesome feature. Plus, the main benefit is you can send between Xbox 360 and Xbox One, which is like a cross-multi-platform, and you can send messages to your friend in the 360, and he can send them to you while you're on the Xbox One. Pretty awesome feature. Now, if you guys use Smart Glass, and some of you are like, Matt, what is Smart Glass? Well, Smart Glass is an app, guys, on your Windows tablet, your Apple tablet, you know, any device these days, or Windows 8 even. Smart Glass is an app, right? And what the app is, it allows you to sign in with your Xbox Live membership or your Xbox Live account. And what it enables you to do is you can, you know, play. You can basically do whatever you can do on the Xbox except play games on your phone. So, for example, you go, ah, oh, I can see my dashboard. You can read messages, send messages, download stuff. You know, do whatever you want on the dashboard on your phone, which is pretty awesome. And what they've now done is they've added the feature for you guys to be able to power on and power off your console using your phone, which is a pretty awesome feature or Windows 8, you know, if you're running on the on the PC. But most of the time, I rock out Smart Glass on my phone. So that's a pretty awesome feature on my phone. I'll be able to turn off, turn on, you know, just like you do with girls, you know, turn on, turn off. I wish you could do that with a phone, to be honest, that'd be a pretty awesome feature. But on the Xbox One, you can now turn on, turn off, and all that wonderful jazz, which is pretty awesome. Now, finally, guys, I spoke about this in the April system update, but dedicated servers are still on their way for party chats when someone has a strict nap type within your party. Now, at the moment, they've slowly pushed it out. However, not everyone has this. At the moment, it's only for people who have a strict nap type in your party. So, if, for example, in your party, someone has an open nap type and a moderate nap type, you guys won't get dedicated servers. However, if one guy has open, one guy has moderate, and one guy has strict, then you'll have a dedicated server. But the, what the plan is, though, is for all future, you know, party chats, everyone to be on a dedicated server, no matter what nap type you are. So that's pretty interesting. So anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, guys. Subscribe if you guys are new. Comment down below and all that wonderful jazz. And have a fantastic day, guys. Adios. Ciao.